Hi, good afternoon, and we had a question come to the practice. Very common question and very common uh, presentation for patients, and that is, how do we get rid of under eye circles? Um, lots of names for them, tear troughs, bags. Um, it's, it makes people look older, makes people look tired. Um, so much of it is a genetic component that you get from mom or dad, maybe both. Uh, has to do with bone structure of the face. Typically, if you know, you're standing in the mirror and you press on your cheekbone, and if your cheekbone is behind your eyeball, typically with time, you're gonna develop bags under your eyes. So the bags are caused by the fact that we have natural fatty deposits around the eye, and that's held back by a dam of tissue. Uh, when that tissue becomes relaxed as we age, the fat bulges and then causes that appearance of a bag. Um, that's accentuated by the fact that we have sort of a, an area under our eye that's anchored, so the bag wants to flow over that. So it's a combination of that fat sticking out, it's a combination of there being a groove under that, and then overhead lighting makes it accentuated. How do we fix it? So there's, there's uh, non-invasive and there's invasive ways of fixing this. Uh, most typically, you can use a filler in that area. It's called, it's a tear trough. Uh, we fill that where if the groove is filled in, then there's less shadowing and it's gonna be less obvious. So that's the first non-invasive fix to it. Now sometimes, even by filling in that groove, if the fat that's protruding out is too much, then filling that groove's not gonna work. It may help, but you'll still see the bag under your eye. At that point, it's more of a surgical issue. Um, so typically lower eyelid blepharoplasty, where we tighten the skin, we take away that lower fat um, is an answer. Again, if fillers are, are not enough, um, sometimes we'll take that fat and tuck it into the tear trough to hide that particular part of the anatomy and blend it with the fact that we took away fat from an area uh, up above that. Um, other than that, uh, once we fix the shadowing, once we fix the volume issue, people could have a residual, um, I guess, appearance of a bag or a groove there, mainly because of the pigment associated with the skin in that area. And that's genetic. Then we talk into makeup as far as what bases to use, what types of cover up to use, and so forth. But uh, easy question is, uh, one, you attempt to use filler. Filler oftentimes is the answer. If the bags are significant, then probably a surgical approach using a lower eyelid blepharoplasty. Have a great afternoon.